Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Just saw an amazing video of a Turkish sister in Turkey when she went to the mall and she saw a Christmas tree. And many of us, when we're in Muslim countries, we see this, you know, inside, like, you know, what are the Muslims doing? This is something shirk, you know, disbelief, and we're having this in our countries, but we just kind of keep it inside and we don't say anything. And this is the problem that we're facing as an ummah, is that we don't make inkar of munkir. We don't forbid the evil openly. We think that this is a job of, you know, just the scholars and the du'at, and that's not the case. What did Allah tell us in the Qur'an? Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. That you were the best of nations, and pay attention to the ayah, the best of nations. What is it that we used to do to be the best of nations? What did Allah say? Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas, ta'muruna bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkir. That you used to call to that which is good and forbid that which is evil. And pay attention to the word in the ayah, ummah. The ummah is all of us. The scholars, the du'at, the regular people, this sister who we saw in the mall, who came and she said, no, we're in a Muslim country. She said, we're in a Muslim country and this is not from our customs. And this is something built upon the belief that it is shirk. Therefore, she said, it has to be removed. And mashallah, she just didn't say one word. She kept debating with those in charge. And she had a one-hour conversation with the mudir, the manager of the mall, until he realized what she was saying was correct. And alhamdulillah, removed the Christmas tree. Therefore, the sister needs to be an inspiration for all of us that we revive this sunnah, that we revive this wajib, what is compulsory upon us as an ummah to make inkar of munkar, to forbid that which is evil, openly, with our tongues. What did the Prophet ﷺ tell us? Man ra'a minkum munkaran falyughayyirhu biyadi That whoever sees from you that which is munkar, that which is evil, that he should change it with his hand. Because there's three levels in the hadith, pay attention. First, the first level to change it with your hand. If he can't do it, if you don't have the sultan, the first category is the one who has authority, he has a position, whether it be, you know, someone in, of authority in the government or in an institution or you in your household because you're the person of the authority and you see munkar, you can change it with your hand. You see your children watching something that's haram, you have the ability to stop it with your hand and, and stop them from watching that. With your hand, you change the munkar. This is the highest level. The second level, what did the Prophet ﷺ say? He said, فَلَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ فَبِلِسَانِهِ he said that if he can't do that, doesn't have the ability with his hand, then with his tongue. And this is what we need to revise. It doesn't take a lot. I was walking one time in the park, and there was a sister. She was walking. She was wearing abaya, but she had on, uh, it was open in the front. And you could see, you know, her, her body, obviously with her shirt and, her, and her, the, the exercise pants she was wearing inside. And I told Ukhti, my sister, close your abaya. The brother was like, uh, you know, Shouldn't that, well, this is my job as a Muslim. I saw my, my Muslim sister doing something proper, uh, improper. I advised her. If she doesn't take it from me, that's not my thing. But Yom Al-Qiyamah, I advised her. Close your abaya, ukhti. I see a sister not wearing her hijab properly. I, I advise her. Or it could be anything. I see my brother doing something wrong. I advise him. I see the brothers standing outside the masjid. Or, or I'm going to the masjid. They're not going to the salat. Brothers, it's time for salat. Yalla, bismillah. I advise with my tongue at least. And you see the sister, she didn't just advise, she just didn't say something. She sat there and she fought for her right. And I'm, I'm a Muslim, I'm in a Muslim country, and we're, we're seeing this. No, no, she said, no, this, is, this has got to go. And she stood there for an hour. And alhamdulillah, the brother was finally convinced, the one who was in charge, what she was saying was correct. And he removed the tree, alhamdulillah. And the end, the third level in the hadith, what did he say, alayhi salatu wa salam? الإيمان. He said, if he can't do that, then at least he hates the munkir. The evil he's seeing, the mischief he's seeing, he hates it with his heart. And he said that thalika, that is the abath, the weakest part of iman. If you have true iman, at least with your tongue, advise. At least with your tongue. This is what we have to, we, we have to revive this in the ummah. If we're going to be, as Allah told us, khayra ummah, ukhrijat linnas. The best of nations be sent forth to the people, the ones who are calling to the good and forbidding the evil. And I'll end with a hadith, which is a scary hadith. And a reminder for all of us, the Prophet ﷺ said that if the people see the munkir and they don't make inkar, they don't say anything about it, he said, we fear that Allah will punish them all with his iqab. All of them will be punished.
All of us will pay the price because none of us is making inkar of the munkir. Therefore, we need to revise this. And we see the sister, wallahi, the sister is a hero. Patila, wallahi, may Allah bless her and make more sisters and brothers like her who have the courage to stand up, have the courage to speak out. We become nowadays, wallahi, no one says anything. Everybody's just quiet, khalas. Like we're scared to say something like you're going to offend somebody. Yaqi, speak kalimat al-haq. Speak the truth. This is the way of the believer. We see munkar, we say this is wrong. Tell the people it's wrong. Even now, if you see someone do something as a mistake, and you say it openly, this was a mistake, and, oh, you can't talk about, advise privately, all of this. And there's another subject for another day. We're going to talk about this one soon, inshallah. An an another clip, inshallah, so we don't go too long. The important thing that we gain from this, and that we strive to implement in our lives, is that we need to revive this sunnah of making inkar and munkar openly, with our tongues at least, and our households, and places where we have authority, we change it with our hands, as the Prophet wasallam said, but if not, at least with our tongues. And it can be different levels even with the tongues. Like the sister who went into detail one hour, or at least a kalima. An advice as you, as you see a brother or sister, you advise them with your tongue. And in, inshallah we do that and we revive this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put barak and blessings on our ummah and, and give us back the izzah, the honor that we've lost because we've left calling to that which is good and forbidding that which is evil. And Allah knows best. Allahu alam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barakatuhu Muhammad. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.